In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what are known as delayed annuities. What does that mean? Let me show you an example. Let's suppose that your rich and benevolent uncle has promised to give you $500 every year for seven years. So this is like an annuity because you're getting a constant cash flow of 500. You're going to get that every year, so regular intervals, and you're going to get it for a certain number of years, seven years. So all well and good there, except that your uncle says, you know, I'm going to give you the first $500 five years from today. And so this is why this is a delayed annuity. Because when we've talked about annuities in the past, uh, we have typically talked about ordinary annuities in which the first cash flow or the first 500 would happen right around here, which is at the end of year one. But that's not happening here. This is a delayed annuity in the sense that you go out all the way out till year four, and then the first one happens at year five. So the first cash flow of 500 will happen right around here. And so if you're going to get seven 500s, this means that you will go out to year six, and then seven, and then eight, nine, ten, and then finally eleven, like eleven years. Because if you count the number of 500s, you'll get the first one here at the end of year five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, last one, seven. Uh, mind you, this is still very much a seven-year annuity. This is very important, right? Oftentimes, um, you know, you'll see the question and it says something like, oh, your uncle has promised to give you a seven-year annuity, but is delayed by five years. And students are often thrown off because if you look at the timeline, the timeline is going all the way out till 11 years. You're like, wait, how is this a seven-year annuity? Well, it's a seven-year annuity because the 500s, there are seven of those. They start late, but when they do start, you just get seven of those. So it is in that sense that this is very much a seven-year annuity. It's just a, a delayed annuity. All right, so that's one thing. Now the question is, how do you determine... Uh, like if the question is how much is this uh, delayed annuity or seven year annuity worth to you today? Like what's the present value? Well, the key here is to realize that the present value formula that you've seen before, which is C into one minus one over one plus R raised to the power T and all of that divided by R uh, this formula, this general formula, and of course in our example, uh, if you were to sort of use this formula, then this C would be like your 500, uh, your T would be 7, uh, which is 7 years, and your R would be, all right, 4, uh, 4%. 4 However, please recall, and this is something that I've emphasized before, this formula only only applies when you're looking at an ordinary annuity, right? And so here you don't have an ordinary annuity because the first cash flow is not occurring at the end of year one. So what do you do? Well, you do somewhat of a modification. So for situations like this, what I recommend is that you first draw a hypothetical timeline just one year prior to where your first cash flow is occurring. So if the first cash flow is occurring at the end of year five, just go one year back draw a hypothetical timeline right below it uh, where you pretend on this hypothetical line that look as pretend as if this is time period zero which means that this is year one which means the next is year two and this means that all the way out this 11 would basically be like seven on this hypothetical timeline you're getting your first 500 here and first 500 here if somebody asked you what is the present value of these 500s on this hypothetical timeline here? This you can do using this formula because this very much looks like an ordinary annuity. And so if you solve all of this out, where you put in 500 here and you put in 7 here, we know that all of this solves out to about 3000 and one dollars and about two cents right so this is what all of this solves out to so the present value of all of these 500s at this point is 3001 once you have figured out the present value here then you say ah you know what this is just a timeline that i you know drew for my own benefit really 
all of this just exists over here. So it is as if, it is as if when my uncle is saying, look, you know, I'm going to give you the series of 500s starting five years from today. It is as if he is promising to give you $3,001 and about two cents at the end of year four. Not at the end of year five, but at the end of year four, which is why, where, as you can see, this hypothetical timeline helps you because the present value is being determined here, which is one period before year five, which on this original timeline is year four. So now none of this matters. None of this matters. You don't have to look at this because literally what you're being asked is this. What is the present value of $3,001 that you are going to receive four years from today? It's really as simple as that. And that you can then do separately. We know that this is just one lump sum amount. So you'd go present value right here. And so if you're trying to determine present value right here, right, this, then all you need to do is just discount this back one, two, three, and four years back. So just do three, thousand and one point zero two and then you'll discount it at four percent so one point zero four where four is this interest rate and then raise to the power four where this four is the number of years that you are discounting back so one two three four and so if you'll do this math this will give you two thousand five hundred and 65.28. And so this is how you would go about determining the present value of a annuity, of an annuity that is delayed by a certain number of years. The key here is that uh, you can apply the ordinary annuity formula, but then you need to discount that amount um, at the interest rate and the number of years here in this case is four because your first cash flow is occurring uh, at the end of year five.